<laughs> Guys, he doesn't want to hold the mic. <laughs> What's up, what's up? So, I'm 31, which means I've been in primary school for longer than I've been in the workforce. <laughs> yeah, originally, originally uh, Lauren told me that there was only going to be three people, so it's a good chance that I can be third. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, luckily this is a work function and not a procedure, otherwise we wouldn't have gotten anything in return. Okay guys, I'm just warming up, I'm just warming up. I'm just warming up. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So when I was younger, I used to play a lot of computer games, and my mom would always tell me, you'll never earn any money if you sit in front of the computer all day. Well, now I'm a software engineer, and I make more than that. I used to have bad eyesight, but since I'm a programmer, now I can see sharp. The first time I drove to Sunland, I accidentally drove through the sketchy part where the taxis are, and one of them sort of blocked the road. And I panicked because I'm not going to stop there, not with this pretty face. Are you right? <laughs> so I told my girlfriend I'm going to get a packet of emergency cigarettes for situations just like that. Um, but I started liking smoking, now it's becoming easier to get into emergencies. <laughs> when, I bought my, when I bought my first packet of cigarettes, I walked to the cafe because if I drove there, it would have been as good as a down payment on my car because petrol is so expensive. <laughs> so whenever you see me walking around, it might be that I'm in an emergency. <laughs> Let me explain how expensive petrol is. It's cheaper to get arrested, get a lawyer, and then get a lift to the nearest police station. I've even started to factor it into my weekend plans. My bros called me, Yo, what's up bro, you coming over this weekend? And then I said, depends, what's the most liftable offense in your area? <laughs> so two things happened this week. My ex-girlfriend drowned, and I lost my job at the aquarium. <laughs> Last weekend, I was at my girlfriend's band recital. She does those dances that looks unholy, you know, hip hop and that shaky business. Uh, to make matters worse, it was held in a church. I found it weird that the church had couches in the back. Like, what is that for? Holy Spirit and chill. Like, what's the foreplay for that even? Oh, yeah, baby, I like the way you praise and worship. So, my girlfriend and I are almost together for three years. Three years. And um, she asked me, Are we going to do anything special for our three years together? Then I said, I, I told her, I'm single on paper, and she hated hearing that. <laughs> That's true. I recently bought an apartment, and on the home loan registry paper, yeah, there was only three boxes to tick. It was single, married, and divorced. And I ticked the single box. She asked me, why did you tick that one? So I told her, well, if there was a box that said not married, but cut for I choose that one. <laughs> we are at that age where everyone is 30, turning 21, and that means a lot of parties. You can see he's got a job already. It's the people that after two hours that they arrive, they take a tea break. And after two hours, uh, two hours after that, they eat something. And two hours after that, they take a tea break again. And like in between those, they smoke like 15 times. And it's also the people that whenever you ask them something, they sigh. <laughs> the first time I came to Sunland, it felt like an airport. They even got the massive escalator. When I came to the top of it, I just stood to the side and waited for my luggage. <laughs> I recently released, uh, released my first app on the Google Play Store, which you can download. It's called On The Plus Side. It's just a calculator app uh, that I did for experience. But uh, the thing is, whenever I tell people about it, they uh, think it's impressive. All it really is, is just Google just wants to know how much uh, data I'm getting from 13 year olds. Um, so I told my brother that, and he said, Yo, bro, they just want to know if you're a registered sex offender. I said, that's insane. I'd never pay to get registered. <laughs> I like this. The craziest thing I saw during lockdown was a double booking. It was at a sports ground and it was for a birthday and a funeral. So as the jumping castle went up, Randy went down. <laughs> 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 <laughs>